Um, the costumes of Texas are are unique because they are set. It's set in the 1880s. Um, I did a ton of research on costumes and, and dress of the in the 1880s. Um, it, and it also depends on the character on what kind of costumes they wear. So for instance, uh, a girl who's a tomboy or a rancher's wife might wear a split skirt instead of a dress. And so uh, I would go and I would look for costumes. There are plenty of historical costumes um, in museums throughout the world and uh, so many things that we can find extant now that we wouldn't have been able to find in the 60s whenever Texas started. So um, I have a lot of things at my disposal that I can use to uh, find authentic costumes of the 1880s, 1890s. Now um, there are also walking skirts and uh, jackets that include um, puffy sleeves and uh, and our the skirts back then of course had uh, a bustle so a lot of ladies like to accentuate their bottoms uh, during the 1880s many of our costumes in Texas are not historic some of them that the the particularly that the dancers wear are are um, just beautiful and colorful and uh, that all happens in the first act overture though everything else we try to maintain the authentic authenticity of the costumes so that even down to the shoes the shoes are authentic they wear boots um, lace-up boots of course back in the day they would wear boots that had button hooks button uh, buttons on them so that you'd have to use a button hook to close the shoe uh, some of them also did have lace-up shoes but but those things have changed dramatically in this time period. Um, there are plenty of websites too that you can go to yourself and you can find authentic uh, Victorian style boots and clothing and hats. I forgot to mention the hats, oh my heavens. The hats went from being a very small hat that, that just had a little bit of lace and it was just you know, an accentuated hat to something that is really large and very extravagant. And it really just depends on the costume that you, or, or the dress, if you were back in the 80s, um, the, that you wear and what, what the occasion is. You know, is it a party? Is it, is it going uh, on a ride in the Surrey? You certainly would wear something that would protect you from the sun, but, but not necessarily something that would be caught in the wind. So... Um, I hope that tells you a lot about how we decide what the costumes are. Uh, one other thing that I would like to mention is the, the fabric that we use, because the fabric can be anything now, because we have anything at our, at our right hand. But we have to try to maintain the authenticity in that we don't use too many garish uh, flowers or anything like that. Um, mostly small, small uh, decorations um, and satins and stuff for the, the party scene. But we try to also maintain a little bit of that authenticity, although we certainly don't use historic fabric because that would be so expensive. But, but uh, for the women, that's what we do. That's the costumes of Texas.